Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how I build my high voltage capacitor charger. So my high voltage capacitor charger is based on this circuit over here, which was designed by Victor805, whose schematic you can found, it can be found on the internet. So I found this schematic on the internet and use it for my capacitor charger. So basically how this circuit works is that this circuit consists of two IC chip over here. So it consists of the 555 timer IC which produce a square wave. At an adjustable frequency, which can go up to a hundred kilohertz, then this frequency is fed into the gate of this end channel MOSFET over here, and this gate will be connected through this discharging resistor to ground. So I was thinking if I would include a totem pole driver like this. At the gate of the MOSFET but I didn't do so. But however without this totem pole driver it still kind of works fine for me in my case. So when this MOSFET is switching, current from the source, charge volt source, will energize the coil when it's on. And when this MOSFET switches off, when the square wave signal is low, then the magnetic field that is created in the primary coil will induce a much higher voltage in the secondary coil of the transformer that enables the charging of the high voltage capacitor but however the charge of the capacitor has to be controlled by this comparator IC IM311 over here because you don't want to charge the capacitor bank with too much voltage anyway and overcharge them which will cause the capacitor to fail or to explode. Typically, the capacitor band will be made of electrolytic capacitors because this type of capacitor will hold the most amount of charge and has the highest energy density for a capacitor. Anyway, back to the circuit here, I made some modification. For example, this resistor I change it to 22k, then that resistor I will replace with a 6.2 volt Zener. So the reference voltage will always stay at 6.2 volt, even though the supply voltage changes. Like in the case where you power it up using batteries, then then the reference voltage will always be regulated at 6.2 volts, and the capacitor will always charge at the correct voltage even the input voltage changes then this resistor over here I change it to 10k because originally mm, it will work from 58 volt to 406 volt but I want to increase the range of the charging capability so I swap it to 10k and that's a calculation that in theory I would be able to get 6 to 6 volt maximum and a minimum of 62.6 volt so for the first test I will be using this 
450 volt 470 microfarad capacitor. So I will charge it. And it stops at 366 volts. But I don't know why this indicator LED is still not off even though in theory it should turn off. When the charge is full. Maybe if you know why this is happening, you can leave in the comment section down below. So anyway, I will remove the supply. Then I use this light bulb to discharge the capacitor. So let's charge it up again. And we prepare for a loud bang. So as you can see, I have wired this capacitor. So I have wired two of these capacitor in series and they are 400 volt each. That means they can take in up to 800 volts when wired in series. But the capacitance will be half because it's wired in series. So this is 120 micro and the another one is the same, 120 micro. So all together is 60 micro, 800 volt. So I will tune this potentiometer to the lower setting and see how far it will go. So 58 volts. So let's increase. Okay, let's try again. Doesn't work. Alright, apparently I got the wiring wrong because negative should be wired to positive but that isn't the case. And what's worse is that 
the positive here connects with the positive here but at this side it should be the negative side so yeah that's why it's wrong i'm going to change that now so as you can see i got the right ring correct already Alright, now let's try again. Yes, it works. That charges up to 635.5 volts. But again, I don't know why this LED indicator is still on and buzzing. Let us discharge this. Hmm, that's very bright. By the way, I'm using this 40 watt light bulb to discharge my capacitors. You can either use resistor, light bulb, or just screwdriver to make a loud bang and discharge your capacitors. So one thing I realized is that this power sub this circuit board over here pulls quite a lot of current when the capacitor is charging anywhere above 400 volts apparently. I don't know why. I don't know why it's doing that. And it makes this heat sink a little hotter. Oh, now this is this feels warm to the touch already so i will recalibrate this to charge at up to around this voltage 360 volts so just to make sure that everything works fine again i test it once more with this capacitor Mm, yes, it's still it's still working fine. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe.